How's it going, people? The old English. Haven't had this in a long time. Thought it's time I broke in my my big mug. <clears throat> yeah, chapter thirty-seven of Almush isn't really that thirsty, but uh, I'm drinking to abominations to supplement the uh, the drink factor, and it turns out to be a somewhat interesting chapter after that. Godzilla soundtrack playing in the background. Let's read the masthead of chapter 37. Helaman entrusted with the records and other sacred relics. Gazalim and Lehona, a type of word of Christ. Really? So we're going to learn something here. That's awesome. All right. Uh, verse 1. And now, my son Helaman, I command that ye take the records which have been entrusted with me, too. And I also command you that ye keep a record of this people according as I have done upon the plates of Nephi, and keep all these things sacred, which I have kept, even as I have kept them. For it is for a wise purpose that they are kept. Three. And these plates of brass, which contain these engravings, which have the records of the Holy Scriptures upon them, which have the genealogy of our forefathers even from the beginning, for, behold, it has been prophesied by our fathers that they should be kept and handed down from one generation to another. That's a prophecy. Uh, and to be kept and preserved by the hand of the Lord until they should go forth into unto every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. That they shall know of the mysteries contained therein. Five. And now behold, if they are kept, they must retain their brightness. Like this. <laughs> Rust <-oleum. laughs> Yea, and also shall all the plates which do contain that which is holy writ. Six. Now ye may suppose that this is foolishness in me. But behold, I say unto you, that by small and simple things are great things brought to pass. I'll drink to that. Oh, big bug. And small means, in many instances, doth confound the wise. 7. And the Lord God doth work by means to bring about his great and eternal purposes, and by every small means the Lord doth confound the wise and bringeth about the salvation of many souls. 8. And now it has hitherto been wisdom in God that these things should be preserved, for behold, they have enlarged the memory of this people. Yay! 
and convinced many of the error of the, their ways and brought them to the knowledge of their God unto the salvation of their souls. 9. Yay! I say unto you, if it, uh, were it not for these things that these records do contain, which are on these plates, Ammon and his brethren could not have convinced so many thousands of Lamanites of the incorrect tradition of their fathers. Yea, these records and their words brought them unto remembrance, that is, they brought them to the knowledge of the Lord their God and to rejoice in Jesus Christ, their Redeemer. 10. And who knoweth by what uh, they will be the means of bringing many thousands of them, yea, and also many thousands of our stiff-necked brethren, the Nephites, who are now hardening their hearts in sin and iniquity to the knowledge of their Redeemer. 11. Now, these mysteries are not yet fully made known unto me, therefore I shall forbear. 12. And it may suffice if I only say they are preserved for a wise purpose, which purpose is known unto God, for he doth counsel in wisdom over all his works, and his paths are straight, and his course is one eternal round. Uh, that was mentioned earlier on. Uh, footnote here. Yeah, 1 Nephi 10.19, and I guess also in Alma 7.20. Uh, one eternal round. All right, now... A circle has no beginning and end. An eternal round. Uh, chime in. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Thirteen. Oh. Oh, remember, remember my son, Helaman, that's your name. <laughs> How strict are the commandments of God. And he said, If ye will keep my commandments, ye shall prosper in the land. But if ye keep not his commandments, ye shall be cut off from his presence. Fourteen. And now remember, my son, that God entrusted you with these things, which are sacred, which he has kept sacred, and also which he will keep and preserve for a wise purpose in him, that he may show forth his power unto future generations. So it's kind of a time capsule. Fifteen, And now, behold, I tell you by the spirit of prophecy, that if ye transgress the commandments of God, behold, these things which are sacred shall be taken away from you by the power of God, and ye shall be delivered up unto Satan, that he may sift you as chaff before the wind. 16. But if ye keep the commandments of God, and do with these things which are sacred, according to that which the Lord doth command you, in parentheses here, uh, for you must appeal unto the Lord for all things, Whatsoever ye must do with them, in parenthetical. Wow. Behold, 
same sentence. Uh, no power of earth or hell can take them from you, for God is powerful to the fulfilling of all his words. 17. For he will fulfill all his promises, which he shall make unto you. For he has fulfilled his promises, which he has made unto our fathers. 18. For he promised unto them that he would preserve these things for a wise purpose in, in him, that he might show forth his power unto future generations. 19. And now, behold, one purpose hath he fulfilled, even to the restoration of many thousands of the Lamanites, to the knowledge of the truth, and he hath shown forth his power in them, and he will sh also show forth his power in them unto future generations. Therefore, they shall be preserved. Therefore, I command you, my son Helaman, that ye be diligent in fulfilling all my words, and that ye be diligent in keeping the commandments of God as they are written. 21. And now I speak unto you concerning those 24 plates. That must be uh, ether, I guess. Or part of ether. That ye keep them that the mysteries and the wor works of darkness and their secret works and their secret works and the secret works of those people who have been destroyed may be manifest unto this people. Yea, all the, their murders and robbings and their plunderings and all their wickedness and abominations, excuse me, drink into abominations, may be made manifest unto this people. Yea, and that ye preserve these interpreters. 22. For behold, the Lord saw that this people began to work in darkness, yea, work secret murders and abominations. Excuse me. Therefore, the Lord said, If they did not repent, they should be destroyed from off the face of the earth. 23. And the Lord said, I will prepare unto my servant Gazalem a stone, a magic rock, uh, which shall shine forth in darkness unto light, that I may discover unto my people who serve me, that I may discover unto them the works of their brethren. Yea, their secret works, their works of darkness, and their wickedness and abominations. Twenty-four. And now, my son, these interpreters were prepared that the word of God might be fulfilled filled, which he spake, saying, 25, I will bring forth out of darkness unto light all their secret works and their abominations, hang on, and except they repent, I will destroy them from off the face of the earth. 
like you said earlier. And I will bring to light their secrets and abominations. Uh, oh. Unto every nation that shall hereafter possess the land. Hmm. That's interesting. He, he knows we're going to be here. He's a prophet. <laughs> 26. And now, my son, we see that they did not repent. Therefore, they have been destroyed. And thus far, the word of God has been fulfilled. Yea, their secret abominations. have been brought out of darkness and made known unto us. 27. And now, my son, I command you that ye retain all their oaths and their covenants and their agreements in their secret abominations Yea, and all their signs and wonders ye shall keep from this people that they know them not, lest peradventure they finally pulled a moldy oldie. This is the first time they used peradventure, I believe. <coughs> In this book, I mean. Yeah, it was starting to sound too modern. Peradventure they should fall into darkness also and be destroyed. Oh man. 28. For behold, there is a curse upon all this land that destruction shall come upon all those workers of darkness. According to the power of God, when they are fully ripe. Therefore, I desire that this people might not be destroyed. 29. Therefore, ye shall keep these secret plans of their oaths and their covenants from this people, and only their wickedness and their murderers and their abominations shall ye make known unto them so just drum up their bad points and don't ah, destroy that self esteem they're not lowly and hard, and they need to be. Teach them to abhor such wickedness and abominations. and murders. And ye shall also teach them that these people were destroyed on account of their wickedness and abominations. And their murders. 30. For behold, they murdered all the prophets of the Lord, 
who came among them to declare unto them concerning their iniquities and the blood of those whom they murdered did cry unto the Lord their God for vengeance upon those who were their murderers and thus the judgments of God did come upon these workers of darkness and secret combinations 31 Yea, and cursed be the land forever and ever unto those workers of darkness and secret combinations even unto destruction except they repent before they are fully ripe 32 and now my son remember the words which I have spoken unto you trust not those secret plans unto this people but teach them an everlasting hatred against sin and iniquity 33 Preach unto them repentance and faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. Teach them to humble themselves and to be meek and lowly in heart. Teach them to withstand every temptation of the devil. <clears throat> With their faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. 34. Teach them to never be wary of good works, but to be meek and lowly in heart. For such shall find rest to their souls. 35. Oh, remember, my son, and learn wisdom in thy youth. Yea, Learn in thy youth to keep the commandments of God. 36. Yea, and cry unto God for all thy support. Yea, let all thy doings be unto the Lord, and whithersoever thou goest, let it be in the Lord. Yea, let thy thoughts be directed unto the Lord, yea, let the afflictions of thy heart be placed upon the Lord forever. 37. Counsel with the Lord in all thy doings, and he will direct thee for good. Yea, when thou liest down at night, lie down unto the Lord and he may watch over you in your sleep. And when thou risest in the morning, let thy heart be full of thanks unto God. And if ye do these things, ye shall be lifted up at the last day. 38. And now, my son, I have somewhat to say concerning the thing which our fathers call a ball or director. Or our fathers called it Lehona, which is being interpreted a compass. And the Lord prepared it. 39. And behold, there cannot any man work after the manner of so curious a workmanship. And behold, it was prepared to show unto our fathers the course which they should travel in the wilderness. 40. And it did work for them according to their faith in God. Therefore, if they had faith to believe that God could cause that those spindles could point the way that they should go, behold, it was done. 
Therefore, they had this miracle. Some miracle. Uh, and also many other miracles wrought by the power of God day by day. 41. Nevertheless, because those miracles were worked by small means, yeah, real small, it did show unto them marvelous works. Yeah. They were slothful and forgot to exercise their faith. So you gotta exercise that faith. <laughs> it's like bench pressing reality, you know? <laughs> No, I guess they just curl. Yeah, they just do curls. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, they were slothful and forgot to exercise their faith and diligence. And then those marvelous works ceased. And they did not progress in their journey. Forty-two. Therefore, they tarried in the wilderness, or did not travel a direct course, and were afflicted with hunger and thirst because of their transgressions. Forty-three. And now, my son, I would that ye should understand that these things are not without a shadow. For as our fathers were slothful to give heed to this compass, now these things were temporal. Uh, they did not prosper, even so it is with these with things which are spiritual. As an imaginary. Uh, 44. For behold... It is as easy to give heed to the word of Christ, which will point to you a straight course to eternal bliss, as it was to our fathers to give heed to this compass, which would point unto them a straight course to the promised land. 45. And now I say, is there not a type in this thing? Um. For just as surely as this director did bring, our fathers, by following its course to the promised land, shall the words of Christ, if we follow their course, carry us beyond this veil of sorrow unto a far better land of promise. Like what, Utah? <laughs> 46. Oh, my son, do not let us be slothful because of the easiness of the way. For it, for so it was with our fathers. For so was it prepared for them that if they would look, they might live. So we're talking about Moses' brass snake thing. Another magic item. So this is all J.R.R. Tolkien right now. <laughs> Even so, it is with us. The way is prepared, and if we will look, we may live forever. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be nice? 47. And now, my son, see that ye take care of this, these sacred things. Yea, see that ye look to God and live. Go unto this people and declare the word and be sober. My son, farewell. And that's it for uh, 37. It's a lot more repetition, but, you know, he's talking to Helaman. So, uh, anyway, another one bites the dust. Peace. The fuck. Out. Have a wonderful...
whatever the fuck it is you're having. <laughs>